Aladdin Creations. Hello friends, welcome to another video from Melody Creations. My name is Kavindu. Today in this video, we are going to see all about sickle cell anemia, which is okay as complication of sickle cell disease. So let's discuss introduction, pathophysiology, features, laboratory investigation, and treatment of sickle cell anemia in this short video. Sickle cell disease is a group of hemoglobin disorders caused by a genetic mutation. This mutation, which shows an autosomal recessive inheritance, causes an amino acid of the beta globin chain glutamate to be substituted by another amino acid valine, changing the physical properties of the whole hemoglobin molecule. The resultant molecule is known as hemoglobin S. This defective type of hemoglobin aggregates together in deoxygenated states forming rods of hemoglobin inside the red blood cells. These rods then change the shape of red cells making them look like pointed sickles, hence the name sickle cell disease. These cells are more rigid and thicker than the normal cells, therefore they cannot flow smoothly through small blood vessels. This leads to a vast array of complications throughout the body. Also in hypoxic and dehydrated conditions, aggregation of hemoglobin S markedly increases, further increasing the viscosity of blood. In addition to other features of the disease, sickle cells die very early. The lifespan is only around 10 days in contrast to the 72-day lifespan of normal red blood cells. This leads to extensive hemolysis leading to the condition known as sickle cell anemia. If a person receives the mutation from only one of the parents, he will have just enough healthy red blood cells needed for normal circulation. These people are called sickle cell carriers. But if both genes are mutated in someone, he can get the full-blown disease. Features Sickle cell carriers do not present with health problems unless they are exposed to extreme hypoxic conditions. Patients with sickle cell disease can present at any age, but they are protected in the first six months of their lives due to the presence of fetal hemoglobin, which is an efficient oxygen transporter. But after that, sickle cells tend to clog up in the small vessels and break down, lead to features like pain in the bones, visceral pain, damage to the organs like the brain and heart, don't dies and gallstones, hepatomegaly, ulcers around the ankle, prolonged and painful erections, and increased susceptibility to infections caused by encapsulated bacteria due to dysfunctional spleen. Laboratory Investigations The hemoglobin level will surely be low as the patient is in an anemic state. The blood picture will show sickle cells and target cells. Whole jolly bodies, which is a feature of a splenic atrophy, may also be evident in the blood smear. Some countries carry out screening tests for sickling at birth, which is an effective strategy for identifying patients at an early stage. Protein electrophoresis is another test that can be used to check if hemoglobin is present in a patient's blood. Full blood count, peripheral blood smear, screening tests for newborns, and protein electrophoresis. Treatment The known trigger factors for crisis like high altitudes and dehydration should be avoided while maintaining good hygiene and nutrition, taking folic acid supplements if needed. Vaccines for encapsulated bacteria are beneficial as the spleen might get affected. Effective medical management options for the disease include hydroxyurea to increase the fetal hemoglobin concentrations, opioids for pain management and antibiotics for infections. Sickle cell crises are managed with warmth and rehydration by oral fluids or saline until they resolve. Severe cases of sickle cell anemia, however, might require blood transfusions or bone marrow transplants. 
well friends i hope you guys enjoy this video and gain some knowledge about this sickle cell anemia disease condition now you can find article related to this video from our website www.alertingcreation.com and also you can check out our anemia video series to gain more knowledge about other anemia types as well don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel and hit bell icon to update with more medical about science and medical related videos like this thank you